I cannot be silent through the tears that keep on coming. The dam has been broken. There's no going back. They are alarming insights into the lives of head teachers and the devastating impact an Ofsted inspection can have. The sleepless nights, the endless crying, the feeling of being a failure. The suicide of school leader Ruth Perry triggering painful memories for many. And he was really struggling. And they... Simon Kidwell's school in Cheshire was inspected last month, his eighth one as a head teacher, yet it still triggered his insomnia. I think it's the intensity of the process. I think it's the adrenaline because it's very, very high stakes. I think if I was to get an adequate judgment, I'd be absolutely bereft and I'd, I don't know if I could continue in education. Ruth Perry's family says she felt the same way. The head teacher took her own life in January after an inspection that would downgrade her school in Reading from outstanding to inadequate. But this tragedy is by no means an isolated case. In the last 25 years, there have been at least 10 teachers who have taken their own life where the stress of an Ofsted inspection has been cited in the coroner's report as a factor. And for many in the sector, the fear is there will be more if nothing changes. So far, Ofsted's resisted calls to scrap the single word judgments, but those calls for reform are only getting louder. Reducing it to one single grade is, is nonsense. I mean, there's ample research out there when we used to go and um, grade lessons that you may as well, you may as well just toss a coin in terms of getting it accurate. Hello, yes, yeah, Andrew here from... Andrew Morris quit as an Ofsted inspector in 2015. He claims teams would go into schools with their minds made up already and would change evidence to fit their predetermined rating. And I can think of a number of times a conversation's been had with me that, you know, you might want to go and rethink what you put in that evidence form. That doesn't reconcile with, with what your other colleagues are seeing and that's not particularly helpful in terms of us trying to get through to the overall final grade. So I felt, you know, very uncomfortable with that. In a statement, Ofsted said, our inspections are first and foremost for children and their parents. We always want inspections to be constructive and collaborative, and in the vast majority of cases, school leaders agree that they are. But many clearly feel this is a fatal lesson that hasn't been learnt. Ivor Bennett, Sky News, Cheshire.